Hello guys, welcome back to Techdoz and in this video we will see the prime arrangements problem which is from lead code number 1175. Let's first look at the problem statement. In this problem uh, we are asked to return the number of permutations of 1 to n so that the prime numbers are at the prime indices uh, and the index is 1 based. Since the answer may be very large, uh, so we are asked to uh, take modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7. So let's take an example for better understanding. Uh, let's say that our given n value is 4. So we will have to think about the numbers from 1 to 4. So I have represented it in the form of a list. Now in this case uh, what they are asking is in how many ways can we arrange like count the number of ways to arrange the number so that the prime numbers remain at the prime index. Okay. So given n we have to find the prime numbers from 1 to n. In this case it will be 2 and 3. And obviously if you are enumerating the numbers from 1 to n and the index is also 1 to n so the corresponding value and index initially will be the same right so in how many ways can you arrange the prime numbers as well as the non prime numbers even though they haven't said uh, but it means that you have to arrange the primes as well as the non primes and how many different type of list can you get that is unique list so in this case if you get uh, 1 2 3 4 then this is one arrangement because initially all the numbers and indices will be same and so all the prime numbers will definitely be at the prime index okay so 2 and 3 are at uh, index 2 and 3 which is prime so this is one possible arrangement now in order to find out the other possible arrangement you can move one prime number to only a prime index so you have to find out how many such prime numbers are there so let's say there are prime count number of prime numbers in this case there are two prime numbers right so if you want to find all possible arrangement of two prime numbers in two slots uh, then it will be two factorial and simply uh, if you have these many prime numbers then you can subtract from the size of the array the number of primes uh, to find the number of non primes and in this case it is equals to two so what will be these arrangements it will be again two factorial right so if you want to find out all possible ways then you have to multiply uh, the number of ways to arrange primes which is prime count factorial and multiply it with number of ways to arrange the non primes which is non prime count factorial because a non prime number must always go to a non prime position right it cannot go to the prime position and a prime number must always go to the prime position and that is why you see that we can just rearrange this 2 and 3 to get 3 2 with the same uh, non prime positions and also if you take the first example we can just uh, uh, swap the non primes to get 4 2 3 1 and in the second example we can also swap the non primes to get 4 3 2 1 so i think this will give you a good idea about what the question is asking uh, so you should return an answer equals to 4 okay so the solution to this problem involves finding the number of primes from 1 to n and you can easily do it using the sieve method which is n log log n approach or you can take the square root of n approach which is the simple one so uh, the constraints are very simple it says n less than equals to 100 uh, so you can go with a simple approach which i have also taken n root n approach the total number of items will be n and uh, the number of primes let's say that it is a so the count of non primes will be n minus a so the number of arrangement for primes will be a factorial and the number of arrangement for non primes will be n minus a factorial therefore the total number of arrangements will be a factorial into n minus a factorial right now the time complexity for this will be n root n uh, which is iterating for all the numbers from 1 to n and determining if the given number is prime or not prime i would like to announce about our live training programs data structures and algorithms which is interview dose and system design which is design dose if you are looking for making a switch from service to product based or even make a product based to product based top tier switch and aiming for your dream company this is the best curriculum you can ever join i'll be your mentor throughout the cohort and i will help you clear all your doubts in the one on one sessions you can know more about this by querying us on the whatsapp number or you can also visit our website techdose.co.in so let's now look at the code in this code uh, this is the main function which is uh, num prime arrangements and we are given a number n we have taken the mod as was asked in the question and we have taken a counter so we will iterate for all the numbers from 2 to n because 1 is non not a prime number and then we will check if the given number is prime if the given number is prime then we are incrementing the counter to count the number of prime numbers okay 
and uh, once we are done when we come out of this loop then the count is equals to the number of prime numbers so we need to find the count factorial so this will find the permutations which is basically n factorial right in this case it is count factorial so once you get count factorial uh, we also need to get the number of ways to arrange the non primes which is n minus count factorial where n is the total number of items right and after this you just need to multiply them to get all possible ways so this is a very simple problem i hope you were able to understand this comment down below if you have any doubt and like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming videos see you guys in the next video thank you